I'm Harrison Hall. I'm a first year PhD student at the Thayer School of Engineering. I work with Laura Ray in electrical engineering primarily, but a little bit of computer science. So I have a long history of injuring myself. I did some calculations. I spent like 18% of my life in casts or on crutches. And after getting hurt the last time, about three years ago, I went through several surgeries and some physical therapy. And so I decided to come back to school. And Dartmouth offered a really awesome program that let you essentially design your own program, do the research that you wanted fully supported with oversight from your professor, but without them being able to say, no, that's not valuable research. And so I wanted to pursue something that was looking at physical therapy rehab, um, possible applications to sports as well. There's a big divide in both physical therapy rehab as well as uh, sports training in terms of what you are, what your body's actually doing and what you think it's doing. And giving people a visual feedback, perhaps with a machine learning uh, component to it as well, that can explain what you're doing wrong, what you're doing right, what you need to work on, what you need to focus on, could be really valuable to both athletes and people that are doing their physical therapy at home when they're not being supervised full time by uh, the physical therapist. Right now I, I'm looking at wearable sensors, uh, trying to reconstruct 3D body position um, in real time and transmitting it to a cell phone for both medical and sports purposes. So Under Armour has been actively pursuing this sort of research for a number of years. So they provide all of the essentially equipment for the NFL Combine. And in the last few years, they've been outfitting shirts to all the athletes that measure heart rate respiration, gross acceleration of the body, as opposed to what I'm trying to do, which is a much more specific body 3D kinematics repositioning. So partnering with them to release a product would be one avenue. Going on the medical side, developing either a worn garment or a discrete sensors that can be worn on the wrist, elbow, knee, and providing that to physical therapy places and saying, this is what your patient's actually doing when they're not in your office, either while they're performing exercises or ideally 24 seven. So when they're not under the care of the physical therapist, they can actually see what the patient's doing. So I guess it boils down to freedom. Uh, the regular PhD track, your funding is tied to your advisor. And I decided that I was going to spend five years at a research place that I wanted a lot of that to be self-directed. So that's why I chose the innovation program rather than the regular PhD. Uh, it provides a lot of freedom to pursue whatever research you think is valuable.